Once they get into a feeding frenzy, they don't stop at people, but they'll eat part of the boat as well. Animal X reveals the bizarre world of animal mystery. First to Indonesia, home to huge man-eating crocodiles that defy the laws of nature. Enter the lost world, a land where giant prehistoric beasts prey on innocent villagers, stalking them as they go about their daily tasks. This is Irian Jaya in Southeast Asia, where killer crocodiles over nine meters long have been blamed for the deaths of more than 50 men, women, and children. A big crocodile like that can swallow a human being whole. I've seen photographs of crocodiles that have been opened up with people laying whole in the stomach. Now, I've also seen pictures of stomachs of crocodiles of that size with two outboard motors in there as well. So once they get into a feeding frenzy, they don't stop at people, but they'll eat part of the boat as well. Animal X mounted an expedition into the land that time forgot to investigate the incredible reports of ferocious crocodiles. Our trek took us deep into the inhospitable Asmat jungle in southern Irian Jaya, where we discovered a rich and superstitious culture revolving around spirits, myths, and legends. Here, headhunting and cannibalism have been part of tribal life for centuries. Elaborate rituals lead up to the slaying, beheading, and eating of members of opposing villages, and what are considered local vengeance killings. The Azmats believe everything has a spirit, from trees to rocks to animals. These dark and mysterious parts are also home to flying bats and the world's largest lizard, the Komodo dragon, whose saliva alone is enough to kill. But by far the most feared of them all is the killer croc. And as a powerful animal, the locals believe it has a very powerful spiritual force. And they would explain the fact that somebody got eaten by a crocodile because it's the will of the gods. A person done something wrong, so it's good and right they get eaten by a crocodile. This is all that remains of one killer croc reported to have eaten up to 20 people. These huge holes once held teeth 20 centimeters long. The story goes, not even a high-powered rifle could kill the animal. The croc skull is proudly displayed in a museum in the Asmat. The curator tells how by chance, a child fired an arrow straight into its eye. The crocodile, in tremendous pain, fled up onto the land. Local villagers eventually killed it with arrows and spears, believing that by taking its life, they inherited a powerful spiritual force. Those who've seen Irian Jaya's killer crocs in action say they move like lightning. Witnesses describe how the animals have even chased people in their canoes, biting through the small boats or flipping them over. No one knows exactly why they're so ferocious. Some believe it's just a case of the croc being hungry and looking for the easiest source of food. The word asmat means tree or wood. And many here are carvers who produce some of the primitive world's most awesome and powerful sculptures. Animal X spoke to them about their experiences with killer crocs. This man tells how four people, including his sister-in-law, were taken from a nearby village. He says the crocs were so big and the attacks happened so fast, no one had a chance to defend themselves or escape. It was back in 1961 that this land of artists and headhunters made front page news with the disappearance of the son of the fabulously wealthy New York governor, Nelson Rockefeller. 
Michael Rockefeller vanished while on a personal mission to collect Asmat wood carvings. On a fateful day in November, he and a Dutch companion found themselves floating away from shore in a sinking boat. His colleague chose to stay on board, but Rockefeller was confident he could make it back. His friend watched as the 23-year-old swam off into the distance. Eventually, he lost sight of Rockefeller, and the New Yorker was never seen again. The Dutchman was finally rescued, but he could shed no light on what happened to Rockefeller. Theories vary. Some believe he was taken by headhunters, but others blame Erie and Jaya's prehistoric killer, the Killer Croc, who may have taken Rockefeller's body deep below the surface. The way the crocodile uh, feeds, basically, is to bite, and then if it's a large, if it's large prey, if it's a human being, for example, or a buffalo, It'll drag the animal into the water. If it's not feeding immediately, it will take the animal down and lodge it down in the mangrove roots and leave it there till it starts to decompose, which makes it easier to pull apart. But I mean, either way, the crocodile will bite and then use its body and its tail to start spinning. So it wrenches, it rips off the food by spinning in the water. Living along one of the world's biggest mangrove swamps means there's little chance of escaping the crocs. Today, the Azmats rarely hunt them. They believe to do so would upset the balance of the animal spirit world. So for now, these giant predators are free to lurk around the waters of Irian Jaya, stalking villagers and killing at will. said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. A big crocodile like that can swallow a human being whole. You've just seen some of them on Animal X.